Hello again. Now we've got real diesel fuel over here. It's sort of darkish a little bit. It's good, it's transparent. Uh, so where this diesel fuel is came from? Uh, I've been running some wrong fuel separation. So the petrol or gasoline and diesel fuel were mixed together accidentally and uh, recovered from the petrol tank of the person. Then I run distillation with one of my continuous uh, separation devices and I've got this diesel. It's absolutely good and normal for uh, for running a diesel engine and you don't have to do anything apart from some filtration before you use it. This is it. This is all. But sometimes sometimes uh, the petrol getting mixed with uh, with dyed diesel fuel, red diesel fuel, blue or whatever. So there's a, some pigment, and it can be really uh, reddish or too yellow or something, you know. And today we'll try. Today we'll try to make it more transparent to remove the pigment and make it yellow yellow rather than bit reddish you know it's sort of a little bit of red dye in this fuel and we'll try to remove it now all the same process Just a little bit of fuel, all good sulfuric acid. Not much, one percent, approximately. Everything is approximate. Decimation, approximation. Now we're mixing it. It's getting dark. Sulfuric acid always will react with even absolutely clear transparent fuel. Just as I mentioned before, this fuel is absolutely good one. It's not uh, not the fuel made out of uh, used engine oil. It's simply been recovered. It's been recovered and. Another problem of recovery is actually it takes all the coloring from the petrol because petrol is not transparent. It's supposed to be transparent, but they're adding some uh, colors. I don't know why, but they do. And this color is not, uh, it's a heavy stuff and then it's not uh, able to be distilled. It's not distilling. So it stays in a, in a diesel and diesel separated from the petrol carrying all the coloring from the petrol of the petrol oh. we'll wait a little bit so all the sulfuric acid would deposit to the bottom of the glass
Now we're gonna use our secret ingredient. Just a little bit. The stuff. The problem with this second ingredient is it starts to react almost instantly. So technically you have to add it while you're mixing. Not mix after you add it, because it sticks to the bottom, reacts with some sulfuric acid that could be at the bottom of the glass. And this is it. This is the problem. So you need to mix it. I might need to add a little bit more. Sounds like I need a little bit more the stuff. This second one is taking time to react. It's not as fast as baking soda, but uh, the overage result is much better. The final result is much better than the baking soda. Once again, it needs to be mixed for half an hour at least. Just wait a little bit for the stuff to settle.
if I try to run it through the paper filter. We'll run it through and compare with the fuel that we started with. And we'll check for the difference. Just preparing the glass for lab glass for for the sample, so we'll be able to see the difference of the painted dyed fuel and our result. Here's the difference. This is a red diesel, this is yellow diesel. Thanks a lot.